Give me a minute and I'll tell you what's on fire now in Crimea. So last night there was another successful drone attack in Crimea. This one targeting an S-400 missile system. Now that's the most advanced missile system that the Russians have. And it's the one thing that has a good chance of uh, taking out a TACMS once uh, the Ukrainians get them, if they ever get them. I hope they get them. How do we know it was an S-400? Because of open source intelligence and satellite images that show us what was parked right where this happened. Where did this happen? Right there in the northwest corner of the Crimean Peninsula. Now, guys, yesterday in the early morning hours, we had the attack on Sevastopol with amazing success. Last night, we had this uh, attack on this critical bit of infrastructure, this S-400 missile emplacement. Why are the Ukrainians suddenly so active uh, in the northwest part of the peninsula and so successful? Here's why. Because at every step through this war, they have not only outfought the Russians, they have outthought them. And it is my considered opinion that the preparations for these attacks have been ongoing for a number of weeks. Think about it. What have we seen happen over the last three weeks? First, there was that daring amphibious raid that took out two $40 million radar systems, right? Right there along the coast. There was a drone attack against a $200 million radar emplacement right there along the coast. This week, out in the Black Sea, we saw the oil rig platforms recaptured and the advanced radar warning systems on them dis, uh, disassembled. Ukraine has methodically, methodically taken control over the northwest part of the Black Sea, limited Russia's ability not just to control it, but to see what's happening there. And if all of these preparations are as I think they are, intended to blind the Russians in this part of the world, intended to reduce and attrit their ability to defend themselves, then can we extrapolate from that what might be next? I think it's pronounced Sasi, Saski, Saski. It's an airfield. It's an airfield. Why is that airfield important? It's got runways long enough to land cargo planes, IL-76s. And that's what you're going to need if Crimea is going to be under siege, if you want to feed people and get water to them. And they're going to need it. I'm telling you right now, winter in Crimea is going to be a nightmare. It's going to be the kind of thing where people tell stories of how they ate rats to survive. The siege of Crimea is coming. Winter is coming, my friends.